Hmm, the fence drone. And Everybody's getting dropped like flies over here. Sabotage, please. Why are you still fighting me? Go fight someone else. Oh, my shields. My life. Bypass the lock. Are you serious? I'm not gonna heal him when there's no enemies around. That's stupid. He just needs to get himself back up. There we go. See? Thank you, Garrus. <laughs> Oh, there's so many of these fools. And I'm falling. Yep, there we go. Shepard! Grab my hand! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, you care. <laughs> okay. I could use a med kit. Yeah. In this corner. Okay.
That's definitely Reaper tag. But what's... Shepard Commander, help us. No. Oh. Legion. Good to see you, Legion. We'll have you out of there in no time. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once free, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. <laughs> so what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Okay. The far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack. Not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. Oh. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. Kind of sucks. It's like, yeah, I didn't want to do all this nonsense. But I found another way. Got it. Tell Isora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Yeah. Ooh, big boy. A lot happening right now. Yeah.
Oh, I am just surrounded, huh? What? Alright. Break it. Thank you. Jeez, man. I would just get in the front of it, huh? See that. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Gaps transmit intelligences via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Gaps fighters are docked in a port side fighter bay. We can pilot a fighter to safety. Hmm. I don't think it matters. We're fine. Go.
They fired on the Dreadnought while you were on board? They were supposed to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Tali Zora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a perfect time. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Like legit. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. Yeah, no, I'm just upset. I understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. Only because you attacked You said them. they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. <laughs> With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. <laughs> Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about its feelings? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits are off the table. What Man. can you tell us about Corians are such problems? How would they react without repair guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short range direction. The Geth still have repair upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila, I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of the server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Yeah. I did good. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the home world. You're not worried about her losing perspective given her interest in the Geth? If she can save our people, she can do whatever she wants. Oof. 
What can you tell me about Admiral That's Carroll, a slippery slope. <laughs> it was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Barrickson. While live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought, their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. <laughs> and in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. <sighs> I'd like to know about your patrol, please. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships? Admiral Corris commands them if he survived his crash landing on Rannoch. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander. You opposed Creator Admiral Zen's attempt to confiscate our platform. She's done enough already. Your assistance continues to be noted. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships? Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the Creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. Huh. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it? Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. Dang. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? That is evidently an acceptable trade. <laughs> it's like, what do you think? Look what happened. What did you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Veil. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. <laughs> that must have been nice. <laughs> Legion had no problems. <laughs> of course they believed me. Why wouldn't they? Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you have regrets about deleting the heretics? 
Maybe decisions like deleting heretic Geth were what turned your kind against organics in the first place. We do not condemn it. Action was necessary. It was why we sought your advice. Hmm. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? The old machine took total control of our sensory equipment, our networking. Even then, we could not fully comprehend them. They are magnitudes above us. A single thought was immense, overwhelming, unknowable. You're making them sound godlike. Their forms are advanced but mundane. We do not view the old machines as analogs to deities. However, we have gained perspective on why others would imbue them with these qualities. <laughs> we get it. We understand. There's a reason. <laughs> we'll talk later. We will remain here. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe if I had the right incentive? No, that's not... My people need me here. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. How did the war with the Geth get started, anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Fair enough. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. 